Okay, SOS family, gather around and have a sweet seat because I am so happy to freaking introduce to you guys the first episode of Train with SOS. Now, mind you guys, I'm not going to label the titles with episode 1, episode 2, and whatnot because this is actually going to go on indefinitely for those of you guys who don't know. So there's no point of labeling it as episode 1 or episode 2 if there's really no end to it. Anyway, that's not that's besides the point. So a lot of you guys really want to see how I train, so there you have it. I do exercises to train the movement, okay? I do not do exercises to train muscles necessarily. In this workout routine, I'm basically doing two exercises. I know some people may say, yo, what the hell is this? Like, this is what you do? This is so easy, like anybody can do dips. Here's the thing though, I do dips because I want to get better at doing dips, and the same applies for push-ups, the same applies for pull-ups, the same applies for everything. So this is what my workout routine is right now. In this video, you see me doing 100 dips and 100 push-ups, but I split it up into 10 sets. In between each set, from set 1 to 5, I took 1 minute breaks, and then from set 6 to 10, I took 2 minute breaks in between each. So I'll basically do 10 dips, and right after that, I'll do 10 push-ups. This was freaking intense, man, I swear, it was really freaking intense. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention that I added some jump rope at the end of the workout, which I will be doing for the end of like each workout that I do. Not for cardio necessarily, but I'm actually doing jump rope because I want to become better at jump rope. That's the way I train guys, like, a lot of people don't really understand why I train in calisthenics or just train the way that I do. When I do bodybuilding with calisthenics, it will look pretty similar to this series at first, but soon enough, both of those series will kind of steer into its own direction. You guys will understand as time goes along. But basically with bodybuilding with calisthenics, I will be doing exercises primarily to train the muscle group, if you guys get what I'm saying. Like for example, when I'm doing dips in this episode, I'm doing dips to get better at doing dips. In bodybuilding with calisthenics, I will be doing dips so that I can get a bigger chest, get bigger triceps, and get bigger anterior delts. You, got, you guys get my point? When I do jump rope, some people do jump rope to improve their cardio. I do jump rope so that I could become a beast at doing jump rope. Like, yo, my ninjas, guys, when I say strength over size, I mean strength and performance over size and aesthetics. I want us to, yes, look good. Yes, we should look good. If I lost my abs, I'll be honest, I will try to get them back. Like, I do care about kind of looking good, but I don't care to be super huge. What's most important, what I feel for all of us, is to be able to do stuff with our bodies. Like, yo, guys, our bodies are so capable of doing so many things that you guys don't even, like, explore, man. You guys don't even explore that with your body. A lot of you guys just stick to bodybuilding. So a lot of you guys are sticking with, like, isolation movements, doing some simple compound movements and whatnot. Or you have powerlifters who typically stick to the primary uh, three movements, the squat, the lift, and bench press. But, yo, you guys can do so much more. For those of you guys who bodybuild, you guys can do calisthenics. Calisthenics does not mean body weight. You guys can add weight to your calisthenics exercises, like dips, push-ups, pull-ups, right? Add weight and still build crazy amounts of size to your body while getting better at calisthenics. So you get the best of both worlds. For, for people who do powerlifting, you guys can do like powerlifting for like four days a week and then do like two days a week of calisthenics. Like mix it in so you're able to do so much more, man. And I guarantee you guys that like calisthenics could actually help you with your strength in terms of a power thing and whatnot. So this is just what I'm trying to bring to you guys. Like I'm just trying to expand your mind so you guys can train in different ways and not just be limited to one type of training. Anyway, I said my freaking piece. I hope you guys think of different ways of training. So just make sure you follow me on Instagram so you can do this Q&A starting it soon. And I'll talk to y'all next time. Done.